Welcome to Pinot7.com. Please like, share, and subscribe my video. Today we're going to look at the burning of the hydrocarbons. Uh, hydrocarbons, if you know uh, from my previous videos, are actually uh, different sort of uh, chemicals or compounds or fractures present in the crude oil. So crude oil is actually been extracted from the earth crust and then they actually take it out. It has got small and large hydrocarbons. Uh, one of them was actually we have done in the last video, alkanes. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you, you are burning alkanes, alkenes, uh, we know them in the daily life as petrol, diesel, kerosene oil and, uh, and etc. Uh, when are we going to burn them? You probably look at uh, what an example when you um, make uh, or cook food at home. You will see that the uh, windows will become actually wet uh, if you do not open it. It's because uh, when you burn the hydrocarbons they produce water and they produce carbon dioxide. They also produce a light energy and heat energy. So when something burns uh, uh, rapidly, it is called combustion. So these, this, the, and these are the two products: carbon dioxide uh, and uh, uh, water. Now we're going to look at quickly, like what is actually, uh, what are the actually other products can be when actually we deal with the combustion of hydrocarbons. So yes, burning hydrocarbons, you have crude oil, which is actually you have received from the. Uh, especially they are uh, present in the Middle East countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Nigeria, US, uh, they have uh, so much of hydrocarbons. Uh, crude oil can give you uh, uh, different hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons have got two types, uh, technically they have three but for GCSE you just need to know only these two. Alkanes, uh, uh, the example you can have like in a daily life, you know them as petrol, diesel, uh, kerosene oil, and etc. Now, uh, when you're going to burn them, so you are actually reacting. So anything, when uh, any uh, hydrocarbon or any chemical uh, burns rapidly uh, with uh, oxygen, you can say burn or you can say react. Uh, with oxygen uh, it is called combustion. Now those two products like we have talked about, if they say word equation, you say methane plus uh, oxygen and you produce carbon dioxide plus water. Uh, so this will be known as the uh, word equation. So you have to be very mindful when you actually uh, attempt this question in exam. You have to actually write down uh, what they're asking you. If it's a word equation, it's pretty simple. You just write down the name of the hydrocarbon. It can be methane, ethane, butane, propane, whatever. Rest of all of them will remain the same. There is no change uh, in the reactant or the products apart from this change of the hydrocarbon. You can also have, uh, for example, the, uh, the symbol equation. They can ask you to write down a symbol equation. And the symbol equation can be done by having CH4, which is the formula of the gas you use at home to cook the food, and that will react with oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide as it is, and it produces water. It also produces energy in the form of light and heat, but we are not going to write that down in the equation. In this whole process, this process actually uh, happens in the uh, human body as well, like respiration. So when you respire, uh, you, you, you take glucose uh, and you burn it with oxygen in your uh, cells uh, through mitochondria as a process called respiration, which produce carbon dioxide, water and energy and that energy is required uh, for your cells. Now when you look at this, you have to balance it. Yeah, so this is how we actually do that. You write down the types of atoms which remain the same on both sides. At the moment you have one carbon atom, uh, four hydrogens, and uh, two oxygens. Here you have one carbon atom and you have two hydrogens and then you have three oxygens. Now two, this two only belongs to this oxygen, so that's two oxygen and 
if this oxygen is on its own, there is no number there, so it's one oxygen makes it three oxygen. Now I'm trying to balance carbon, carbon is already balanced, so I don't have to uh, worry about that. Then I have to look at hydrogen, it has got four, and you have two there, so I have to put two there. Now, you cannot change this number. If you change this number, then basically this will actually change the, the formula of the uh, molecule, and it, you are not allowed to do that. So it is, uh, no, you, you don't touch it. You can only change this number in order to balance the equation. Right? So, I have put that number there, that makes it actually now four of hydrogens. Now, uh, I will come to oxygen straight away. Uh, it has got two oxygen, you have two oxygen, and you have three. First you have three, but because of this two, that will times uh, for the whole molecule, so that means your oxygen automatically becomes four, because you put two for the hydrogen. Now, on this side, all I have to do is, I have to put two there, I cannot put four there, because that is not allowed. So you do to the four, so your oxygen is balanced as well. If I, uh, before you actually move on, you need to double check that by putting these numbers in front of the molecule, has it changed the other uh, atoms as well, so that's very important why you do that. So this is called combustion. Now, sometimes you probably have, a, 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 you can look at this one, uh, you probably gonna do some experiments in, in, in your uh, school or college. Uh, you look at this one, uh, this is a Bunsen burner. When you connect with the gas, uh, it, it has a neck lock there. Uh, if you leave it open, it will have a good supply of oxygen. And what's gonna happen is the flame will be blue and it will be actually very sharp and it will actually call as a heating flame. Uh, but if I close it, if I close that, uh, you can see there's a gap there. If I close that gap, uh, there will not gonna be a proper oxygen there, which so there will not be a proper supply of oxygen. At this point, there will be some oxygen, and so the flame will become blue, and it will, it will, it will be very, very uh, kind of like a, uh, 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 like a candle one. Uh, so this process, when you burn the gas at home, if you have good supply of oxygen, means uh, you, there's a gap there or you have good supply in the, in the room, uh, which will give you carbon dioxide and uh, water. But if you uh, actually uh, 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 do not have a good supply of oxygen, you close this, uh, your flame will be yellow. Here you will have, a, I'm just going to remove this part because we don't need this. So if I remove this uh, and I try to burn methane gas in the limited oxygen, so I would say methane plus limited oxygen means the no good supply of oxygen. It will produce carbon monoxide. Mono means one, oxide means one ox uh, the oxygen. So mono means one oxygen. One oxide, one oxygen. And it will produce obviously uh, water, but it will also produce uh, carbon solid. This is also referred as soot, carbon soot. So when you see you know, the car, uh, in your car where you actually have an exhaust system at the end, where the smoke comes out, if you put your finger there and you do, uh, when it's not running, if you put your finger around it, you'll see that you will see a lot of carbon, carbon there. So carbon particulates, uh, these particulates actually produces because of uh, uh, limited oxygen supply. It was not supposed to be there, but because there's not enough oxygen, so the carbon solid will come out, and you know carbon. A solid form like a coal, it is actually black, and so this is what's going to happen. Your beaker will become black as well if uh, you do if you do not open uh, the neck lock of the Bunsen burner uh, because of the carbon particles. Now, then we look at the uh, uh, incomplete combustion. When you talk about incomplete combustion, that means you actually lock that. That means in the in the uh, where you're burning the uh, hydrocarbon, there is not a good supply of oxygen. Uh, everything will remain the same, but there's a small slightly change. Rather than producing carbon dioxide, 
you will be producing carbon monoxide and water is going to be there and you're also going to produce carbon soot. Now carbon soot is actually solid carbon so if you actually burn something or this has burns and burns and sometimes people actually when they actually heat the beaker up the beaker becomes uh, black uh, around uh, uh, it has a deposit of uh, carbon particulates around it is because of the uh, you actually close it you kept the safety flame where it, it doesn't have the good supply of oxygen so what you need to do you need to open it so it has good supply of oxygen but it only produce carbon dioxide and water the moment you're going to close it it will produce a, a solid carbon and solid carbon like coal it will give you a black color or black kind of particulates around the beaker or an attached to be using now the, the uh, simple equation is again neatly the same uh, limited supply i have just uh, reduced the amount of oxygen there it will produce carbon monoxide water and carbon soot so that will be uh, the uh, 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 in the form of uh, black color solid carbon monoxide is actually make uh, cause trouble in your respiratory system because your cells require oxygen and that is delivered uh, through diffusion from the air and goes straight into your uh, cells for respiration. So, but if you are producing carbon monoxide, it will be diffused into your uh, lungs uh, through diffusion and it will be delivered through the blood cells uh, to the, uh, from the uh, blood cells to the uh, normal cells for respiration through mitochondria. So what's going to happen is you are not delivering the oxygen, good supply of oxygen. So that means our cells cannot perform their uh, job uh, or uh, they cannot do aspiration and then it, it can cause the death as well if it is in a huge amount. So it will actually stop the good supply of oxygen in a sense about the carbon, the carbon monoxide. So the only difference is that one oxygen is less as compared to this. Uh, so you can have the other combustion as well so you can actually do some practice on that uh, just to make sure you actually balance the equation. Now what, what I want you to look at the last thing is carbon dioxide. How you actually identify this gas. To identify this gas, uh, you can use the lime water. Now the lime water, what, what lime water does is, when you, when you have produced carbon dioxide in the whole process, uh, lime water will combine with the carbon dioxide and it will produce uh, milky color lime water is actually colorless so the moment you you whatever the carbon dioxide produced but the moment you're going to put that in there it will turn the lime water into milky so you need to understand that uh, it will produce uh, obviously it's actually calcium uh, hydroxide which is going to react with the carbon dioxide produce calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate is actually insoluble uh, in the in the water so it will produce it will uh, produce a milky color a uh, solid will appear as a milky color so that is an evidence that your uh, hydrocarbon is producing a carbon dioxide uh, as so carbon monoxide is actually uh, a poisonous gas So you need to remember that if they ask this question. Alright, wait for my next video for the cracking.